I am not here because I am a historian or an art historian or an archaeologist. I am here because the Ayodhya issue bothers me as much as it bothers you. We all realize the gravity of the situation. But at the same time, we know very little about Ayodhya or its history. So I decided to do some research of my own. I started visiting libraries, reading books. I also started gathering and maintaining date-wise data of the important happenings. This is an attempt to present the information before you in order to help you to form your own opinion. Ayodhya, the word literally means unconquerable or unvanquishable. It is a history of wars and struggles for over 2,200 years since 150 BC. But even before that, the mention of Ayodhya as a capital city established by Manu, an emperor of the solar line, and the birthplace of Sri Ram can be found in Sanskrit literature, including the most revered epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. The description of Ayodhya in Ramayana is beautifully rendered into verse by Mr. Griffiths, who was a principal of the Banaras College in the late 19th century. He writes, Her ample streets were nobly planned and streams of water flowed to keep the fragrant blossoms fresh that strewed her royal road. There many a princely palace stood in line on level ground, her temple and triumphal ark and rampart banner crowned. Their golden turrets rose on high above the waving green of mango groves and blooming trees and flowery knots between. On battlement and gilded spire the pennon streamed in state and warders with the ready bow kept watch at every gate. <laughs> The kingdom of Koshal was ruled by King Dashrath, who is believed to be 56th in descent from Raja Manu. His three wives, Kaushalya, Sumitra and Kaikai, lived in their respective palaces. Sri Ram is believed to have been born in the Kaushalya Mandir, which is believed to be the birthplace of Sri Ram or the Ram Janmasthan. In Brahmanda Puran, Ayodhya is described as holiest of the six holy cities. Ayodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kashi, Kanchi, Yavantika, Etaha, Punyata, Mahaprokta, Purina, Uttamotta, Maha. Maharshi Vyas refers to the story of Ram in the Vanopakhyan of his epic Mahabharata. Thus, the city of Ayodhya and Sri Ram have been held in veneration by the residents of this land for centuries. Almost 200 years after Alexander the Great, during Mauryan rule, when Buddhism was flourishing, came the Greek king Menander. He embraced Buddhism and pretended to be a monk. The transformation of the monk to that of an invader was stunning. He attacked Ayodhya and destroyed the temple on the Janmasthan site. Menander was defeated by Raja Dhyumatsen 
of the Shrungavansha. Within three months, Menander himself was killed in the war and Ayodhya was liberated. The Janmasthan temple was reconstructed by King Vikramaditya. History knows of six different Vikramadityas. Historians have different opinions as to which Vikramaditya constructed the temple. Some say it was Vikramaditya, the original, who defeated the Shakas and conquered Ujjain in 58 BC, and after whom the Vikram Samvat calendar system is named. Others attribute the reconstruction to Skandagupta, who also called himself Vikramaditya, and built the temple in the late 5th century AD. However, it is generally accepted, as P. Carnegie mentions in his historical sketch of Faisabad, that Vikramaditya's main clues in tracing the ancient city were the river Sharayu and the shrine still known as Nageshwarnath, which is dedicated to Lord Mahadev. It is also generally accepted that Vikramaditya constructed about 360 temples in and around the city of Ayodhya. The tradition of veneration to Sri Ram has continued in the Hindu society in one form or another. The earliest known inscription to testify to this is the Nasik cave inscription of the Shatavahan kings. The celebrated Sanskrit dramatist Bhas identifies Sri Ram with his Archana avatar. He writes, Namo Bhagavate Evolution of the tradition of worship of Sri Ram as an incarnation of Vishnu is evident in the early Rama shrines and inscription. The 4th century shrine at Ramtek, the Gandhar inscription in 423 AD, the Chalukya inscription in 543 AD, Mamallapuram inscription in the 8th century AD, Amba Mata temple near Jodhpur in 11th century AD, Ram temple at Mukundpur in Reva district in 1145 AD, Hansi inscription in 1168 AD, Rajiv Lochan temple at Rajim in Raipur district are some of them. In 12th century, at least five temples existed in Ayodhya. They were Gupta Hari at Gopratar Ghat, Chandra Hari at Sargadwar Ghat, Vishnu Hari at Chakratirth Ghat, Dharma Hari at Swargadwar Ghat, and Vishnu Temple on what is known as the Janma Bhumi site. Mahmud Ghaznavi looted and destroyed the temple of Somnath and went back. His nephew Salar Masood advanced in the direction of Ayodhya. On 14th June 1033, Masood reached Baharaj, 40 kilometers from Ayodhya. The people united under the leadership of Raja Suhel Dev. Suhel Dev's army attacked Masood, defeated his army, and killed Masood himself. Abdul Rahman Chishti writes in the biography of Masood titled Mirate Masoodi Maut ka samna hai, firak suri najdik hai. Hunudo ne jamao kiya hai, inka lashkar be intaha hai. Sudur Nepal se pahado ke niche ghagra tak fauj mukhalif ka parao hai. Masood ki maut ke baad ajmer se muzaffar khan turant aya, par wah bhi maar diya gaya. Arab Iran ke har ghar ka chirag bujha. So the tradition of Ram worship continued. 